Hello friends, today I will show you the various apparatus used in the chemistry laboratory. I will show you one by one some of the apparatus used in the chemistry lab. And also you can find these apparatus in physics lab also. You see here, this one you see, this is nothing but pins. These are pins. I will show you all the apparatus used in the laboratory. This is pin. Next one you see here. You will see this is a round bottom flask used in the chemistry lab for various purposes. This is round bottom flask, right? I will show you all the instruments used in the chemistry laboratory. Here you see this one is W shaped. You see here this one is W shaped pipe used for various purposes in chemistry lab. You see, this is W shaped pipe used for various purposes or various in various chemical reactions or used in various experiments in chemistry lab. Right? I will show you all the apparatus and explain the various types of uses in the chemistry lab. You see here, this is fine bore. That means these are capillary tubes. You see here, these are capillary tubes. See here, these are capillary tubes. And we know the capillary action and capillary tube. That means when these capillary tubes are dipped in a liquid, either the level of liquid rise or the level of liquid decreases. When it is dipped in water, the level of water increases. But when these capillary tubes dipped in mercury, the level of water decreases. These are capillary tubes. I will show you all the apparatus used in the chemistry laboratory. In the chemistry or physics lab. Here you see, this is an, this is a prism, triangular prism. You see, there are, this is triangular and you see, this is the triangular prism used for various purposes in optics. You see? And we used here the triangular prism in case of mostly in dispersion and various other experiment also. I will show you all the apparatus. Now you see this one. Two mouth vessel. Here there are two mouth. One and two. Or you can use for various purposes also. Here you see, this is beaker. This is beaker of 50 milliliter. And it is made of borosilicate glass. Right? It is 50 milliliter beaker. We can use it for various volumes of liquid. I will show you all the apparatus used in the chemistry lab. You see this one. This is known as bell jar. Right? This is bell jar. And we can, we can use this bell jar to show that sound need medium to travel from one place to another. This is bell jar. Right? You see this one. This one is also a beaker and it is 10 milliliter beaker. You see, this is 10 milliliter beaker and here you see, this is 10 milliliter beaker. Here you see, these are ignition tubes. Right? These are ignition tubes. There are 16 ignition tubes here. You can see here. 
and incentives are used for various purposes also. You see, this is test tube. You see, this is a test tube, and it is used in for various purposes in chemistry lab. See this one. This one is a plane mirror. You see, this one is a plane mirror, and it is used in the physics lab for formation of images by plane mirrors. And you can see, you can find that the images formed by by this plane mirror and the property of images formed by plane mirrors. You can see here, this is a round bottom flask, right? And it is used for various purposes in chemistry lab. This is a test tube and this is a 10 milliliter beaker. You see, these are droppers. These are droppers used for various purposes in a stair lab and you can transfer one liquid from one place to that of another. You see, these are also test tubes, but of small size. You see, this test tube is small size, it is 4 mm size of test tube. Here you see, this is a stirrer, or you can stir any liquid. Right, this is stirrer. You can see here, this is the stirred. Here you see, this is the glazed glass and it is used also for various purposes in laboratory. This is a glazed glass. You see, this one is a glazed glass. You cannot see through it. And it is used for various purposes in laboratory. You see, this is a beaker of 10 ml beaker. Can you see? This is a convex mirror. This mirror is convex mirror. In convex mirror, the field of view is more, but the image form is smaller in size. This is a convex mirror. Can you see? This is a plane mirror. You see, this is a plane mirror. This is a plane mirror and used for various purposes in the laboratory. This one, this one you see, it is a concave mirror. You see, it is concave mirror and the focal length of this concave mirror is 15 cm and diameter is 50 mm. You see this is a lens, you see, this is a this is a concave lens and you see that it is thin at the middle and wider at the side. It is a concave mirror and in concave mirror, concave lens you see that whenever we see always Is smaller in size than the 
the image size is always smaller, you see, you see, the image size is always smaller than the original size. You see here, the image we are getting is always smaller than the original size. You see here, this is always smaller, right? This is the concave lens and it is also used for various purposes in the laboratory. Now I will show you this one. This one is glass rod used for various purposes in the chemistry lab. This is a pipe and there is a hole in the pipe also. You see there is a hole also. Now you see here you will see you. I show you this is the glass slab and used to find the refractive index or the lateral shift when refraction is present or you can also prove the laws of refraction in this glass slab. You see this is the glass slab. We can find the lateral shift or refractive index of this glass of this glass by various experiments. And at last I show you the concave lens, convex lens. Here you see this is our magnifying glass or you call it as convex lens. In convex lens the image size is small, greater or magnified. Thank you.